What would you get if you took a group of today's top surfers and gave them a chance to write a collection of surfing's most iconic boards from the past, as well as the most intriguing shapes of the future? You'd get Red Bull Decades, a new web series that shows where surfing has come from and where it's going. To keep things fresh and challenging, you need to ride different boards. Legendary Tahitian surfer Raymana von Bostelier joining the crew and small but rippable waves in the forecast, it was perfect time to unveil a board built for fun. The 80s surf vibe was brash, flamboyant, and radical, and no surfer and surfboard summed up that generation like this Glenn Ping twin fin and the surfer who wrote it, Martin Potter. This board right here, town and country saint, shaped by Glenn Ping, was a huge part of 80s surfing basically the catalyst to the radical surfing we see today. One of our riders got a hold of one of MR's twin fins, brought it back, and all of the TNC shapers kind of did their take on what the board was. Probably gave Potts his board his second season with TNC, and he took it to like a whole different level been using an APS machine for the past four years. I pretty much took some dimensions that I had from the original board, drew it on the computer, and we cut it on our APS machine. We did two boards for the Decade project, 511 by 19 and a quarter, two and five eighths, and the other board was 59, 19, two and a half. After the machine cuts the board, there's still some finishing that needs to be done. When we first started, shaping the twins, they were actually a lot thinner than what the single fins were, but as compared to the boards nowadays, they're a lot thicker. They have a lot more volume, a lot more area in the nose, so the boards tend to draw longer lines uh, with their wider, fuller noses. After seeing Pot surf the twin and what he could do on the board, you know, pretty much all of our team riders switched over to riding twins, at least for a little while, until the thruster came out. such an iconic board, you know, the Potts twin, especially his airbrush. You look at that airbrush and you for sure know it's a Potts board. When Potter started doing airs on the boards, that actually opened everyone's eyes to what surfing was going to be like in the future. The whole movement, like town and country and spray jobs for their um, rider was, was pretty on top of it at that time. You see Martin Potter on this board, you know who it is. You see Johnny Boy with his board, you knew who it was. The first board I think I ever surfed was a blue Hawaii twin fin. Some sort of a, a remake of this. I'm super stoked to ride this board. Wonder why Martin Potter was the fastest surfer in the world. But they didn't have a middle fin. <laughs> go so fast and it still felt really radical. It felt like I could do airs on it and still do the stuff we're doing today with that board, just in a little bit different way. to watch him take a few waves to figure out his feet placement and where he can actually pivot off the bottom to get in the air. He was ripping on that thing. I saw him do some sick carves on it. Thing's flying. Feels mental.
were not riding the boards we were supposed to, I'm going to ride that board because I had so much fun on it. Yeah. We were actually talking about Chloe might ride that next year at Snapper. Form out. In the first CT of the year. And just work on pure form. <laughs> <laughs>